from a few months ago. I'm sure everyone's talked about it, but we haven't, so I don't care. Um, this a- is old. Yeah, I know. Um, so apparently, we, we've played both of these guys' stuff on our show, but uh, apparently the um, fresh and fit guys, who you know are the ones that are always surrounded by prostitutes at all times. Basically, it's yeah. weird. The one that the one that sort of Mayor was on, remember the hooker that? show, yeah, yeah, the hooker show, yeah. And Flagrant Two is the, that New York podcast with Andrew Schultz and the other guy. Um, so I, I, I always only this this the only reason I pulled this up is because I, I caught a clip of Andrew Schultz saying, "Oh yeah, you know I wasn't going to air the Fresh and Fit podcast, the podcast that we had Fresh and Fit on because it made him look really bad." And they go, "No, air it." And I'm wondering, like, well, what could have happened that he thought that make him look really bad? So I have a couple clips here, and I want you to get your opinion. Putting that affect on all Latin women, which is not necessarily the case, but you want a Latin girl who is Jewish, right? So is it possible to put a cultural affect on a race? Maybe when you guys were speaking about race, you were really speaking about a cultural thing. Because if you made a girl from Lagos, Nigeria, they might act completely different than a girl that you're meeting from South Florida, a girl that you meet from California, a black girl, etc. Like, there's not going to be this monolith amongst black with women, right? Because they said they don't want to date black women, mm-hmm. by the way. Right? Mm-hmm. I would oh, say... Masking. Oh, you, you no, go. I would this say, like, both of y'all. where you're raised will determine how, how you act for the most part, right? So Caribbean girls are different from girls from, from the U.S. Mm. versus, like, Nigeria. So it's cult- it, it is culture, man, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Which are you? Yeah, I mean, like I said, her... We're look- I'm looking for certain traits first, and then obviously, you know... Her race is irrelevant if she meets a cer- matches certain traits that I'm looking for in a woman. But what I'm saying is that most of the women that I've dealt with just don't tend to be black. And it's not something I necessarily go for. That black women tend not to have. This is a dangerous question, but I, I have to ask. So why can't you just hear me out here? And maybe you correct me if I'm wrong. Why can't you just say something like, yeah, I don't want to date black women or I don't want to date Asian women or I don't want to date Hispanic women. You're allowed to say that, and it should be like, that should be like, oh, cool, all right, man. Like, yeah, you should be allowed to have I, a preference. I've never been like, what? How dare you? Is it because you don't like black people? I, like, I will say this. I think it's weird. Yeah. But it's not my right to tell you what to do. <coughs> You're not or shame you for it. I can I, I can make fun of you for it. I mean, Lord knows people make fun of me. And I mean, I date Latino women, I date white women, I date black women, I date Jewish women. Uh, no, Asians don't like me for some reason. Um, for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. I wonder I why. But uh, I, of course, get the rep now of being just all, oh, just only likes black bitches. Mercer just loves his black bitches. So, like, I mean, you do but that. like, so like, you joke with people about shit, right. but like, yeah, I just think it's weird when somebody's like, nope, absolutely not. No fucking, and then there's like one group, and I'm like, well, that's just kind of odd, because, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. But, the, but again, I wouldn't be like, why not? Are you fucking, you racist? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, not you, Virgie. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, there's obviously we know the stereotypes, which I won't even go into right now, but a lot of the time it doesn't necessarily match them? what I'm looking for. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Quick, quick question for y'all in here. Have you ever dated a black chick? Yeah. Have you? Only Indian girls. Have you? Oh, That's yeah. why, again, I have. So, if you were to prefer a girl, would you date her? Question for you. I don't look at, I'm like, race doesn't come into play. Like That's a lie, though. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying why that you wouldn't date a black chick or whatever, but I'm saying, like, everything comes into play. Like, pretending that, doesn't it right? Doesn't every every part aspect I mean, of it? He, that question wasn't just race based though. He didn't say yeah. a black chick. He said a hood black chick. Right there. Good that's point. a that's a very specific type of woman. Very good point. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not fucking with a hood black bitch. Like even if she's kind of cool, it it's what's gonna be around her. Like the people that'll come around, you know. Like and that's just no offense, but if you you're a hood person. You're gonna you're gonna bring hood people around with you, and there's gonna be a lot of other people that I can't necessarily trust. Right. Like I just look at the traits. Like you guys, that's why I don't understand how you get, you don't see an issue with. What- like here's a great example, right? <clears throat> I don't. 
I'm Cuban. And I, I yes, like, Cuban B. And I don't like I, dating Hispanic women is not something that I ever wanted to do. Right. Like it, it, I, and, and I think he's retarded for that and hilarious. And I like to make fun of him. However, I also recognize that that puts one more Latina woman my age on the market no, but, somewhere. But you know what I mean? So we're Trust balanced. me, there's plenty coming in through the border. There's so no if anything, there. you have fine do you, there. Do you think I'll be able to find a Latina woman Surplus. to settle down with? Yeah. <laughs> in the current <laughs> year? Go to Uvalde. I'm sure you'll find. I know one specifically that's looking for a pop for her kids. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. What you said. Because you both just said, hey, I look for traits first like the personality traits, and it doesn't matter her skin tone. But then in the clip, you got to saying, I don't date. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the set. I'm looking at these people. It looks like I'm looking at an episode of Degrassi High or something. <laughs> right? Like, again, what is up with these sets, man? No, not Degrassi, right? Yeah. If there's a reboot of Degrassi today, this would be Talking Degrassi. Talking Degrassi. Like, yes, yes. It'd be the <laughs> show after that the comes show? on yes. after Degrassi. Yes. They talk about it. With Andrew Schultz. Date black. I don't date dark. I don't fuck with Shanique was a, like you're just talking about race in that entire clip. He's allowed to. So how do you not see the problem with the clip well, when you on. both just say, hey, Notice, I go for personality. He said first. LaShonda on LaQuisha. That's and a, you said you don't do dark. That was a joke, bro. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> a joke. Yeah, yeah, man, like, I, so, a joke. Uh, I think there's so, a lot of reading into this like clip personal. right now. Oh, if he was joking, especially shut up. I, like it's like, yeah. that's here's what I think, though. Yeah. I, think I do guys, believe. Like, I do believe Why would that dude worry about the where another dude puts his dick? That's the thing. I don't care like, enough. Like I can't imagine. As long as you're not putting much. it around any dudes, because then I can't do business with but, you. Because that's the worst thing you could call him, man. Well, I don't want to get monkey pox. I'm, you know. Oh uh, yeah, schlong COVID. Schlong COVID. <laughs> I want to catch that shit. Yeah. I believe it's a joke, it's a man. Joke, I mean, like, like, that's a cop out. Yeah. Huh? No. It's a cop. It, like if your sh if your show is educational and I'm trying to help people and then. When I make when I say something wrong, oh, that was Bro. a joke. No, fuck you, man. You could be educational and also fucking joke at the same time. I'm sorry to Lib Quali. I don't know who this guy is, but fuck you, bro. How about you could do whatever you want? Again, can anybody I, tell me who the black guy is dressed like somebody from a different world? Who I, that guy is? I, I really don't know. It's Sinbad? I really just want one of these dudes to just go, why do you care where my dick goes? Why does it bother you? I run around the room. We got it. We got no, it. No, I, 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 I think you know I'm stuff. I, I'm like, always gonna be on the yeah. side. Of, I'm always gonna be on the side. Is of everyone jokes. get and a mic. Yes. That's just who I am. I'm a comedian. I support. We that, also I'm can't support. necessarily ask him to have the same empathy as us as yeah, comedians. Yeah, of course. I was not a comedian. Black dude, I was so not a comedian. But a comedian, a comedian. I, I'm all, I always so got to defend I can jokes. understand. I'm trying to be funny and I miss words and shit. But then when I peel it back and I go to and I dig into what you're saying, it's still just as it's more troubling to me. So say that. Like say, hey, I misspoke. I I told bad. To fuck you, bro. I'm I so sorry. Man. Look, and we've we've watched Fresh and Fit, and we we trust me. We've made fun of them plenty with their whole fifty hooker setup and all that shit. Who that is they this have. insufferable guy? I don't know who this guy is. Somebody in the chat will probably know. I, I don't. I don't really watch Flagrant. We need to stop the. Like, there's too many people like this in the world, and they need to stop. I, I just. I don't. I. I hate that mentality of like you need to. No, I don't need to do shit. Like, even if you think that fucking Fresh and Fit is the cringiest show on the world, then they could get pretty cringy. So what? They're successful, right? People watch their shit. They buy their shirts and, you know, whatever fucking crypto scam they're running this week. But, like, you know, like, stop. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Joke. But you guys are doubling down and saying that you're like, there's nothing wrong with what I said. Nope. There's not, nothing wrong at all. But See? I, thank you. Good. You know what? By the way, everybody in this frame is a piece of shit, in my opinion. I think you're all just entertainment garbage people, right? That being said, fresh and fit, guys. Good on you for just fucking keeping your fucking chin up, Good. looking them in the eye and going, no. <laughs> no. And not even turning it into an opportunity for you to melt down. Just going, no. I don't see a problem. So we'll one thing, we'll keep doing this. Uh, <laughs> but, but, you know but what I mean? Like, what do you want mean? Like, so far, what I've seen, Andrew Schultz was like, oh, we weren't even going to air this because it made you guys look so bad. I, I don't think they look bad at all you, right now. I think your producer looks like he's spiraling. Yeah, or if, if that's your producer. I don't know who this guy is. That's again. what they're saying. I mean, I think he is because oh. they're the two guys doing it. Look, they're okay. running everything. And then the, the, the show so is trying to find the flagrant name. Is flagrant. Are you sure he's not in Jurassic 5? Well, I mean, the podcast is, well, one day a week. Yeah. 
balling. So, yes, y'all. So yeah, you know, you could be doing. I mean, yeah, you could be doing both. Could, I mean, let's be honest. Jurassic Five is also a part-time job nowadays. Yeah, that's so, a really good point. Um, but yeah, I think they're the producers, and then the Indian guy and Andrew Schultz are the main guys. Are the main guys. Yeah, so that's why he's the producer guy. But mm-hmm. he's just, ugh, he's insufferable. But I don't. Like, but that's, that's cap. Bullshit. That's Y'all bullshit. both said that you did. That's cap. <laughs> Black women, as long as they fit the things that you normal, want. It's not our normal preference. But no, no, but, no, no. But like, no, like, but like, okay, okay. You're taking Dublin Dark as like every black girl. We're saying yeah. Laquisha Lashonda. I'm not dating no hood black chick, bro. Hell so, no. so you. Ma- and he's allowed to. I spoke. You made a bad joke. Fuck you. I'm sorry, but fuck you, dude. Even it's not matter the joke is good or bad or anything. Who made you the fucking moral arbiter of the situation? I should let you know that Andrew Schultz, in three months, mm-hmm. will be turning 39 years old. And he's still saying things like cap? So he's our age? Andrew Schultz is our age, and we joke around and say no we cap say, yeah, and no cap joking and, and, and the, fucking right. around, but he's for real about this stuff? Mm-hmm. I, I, all right, man. For Nigga, real, we for said real. it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vert. <laughs> no, but I'm saying so you said so you made a bad joke. So you wish you didn't say that. No. No. Good. Good. It's not a good. It's not a bad joke. Why wait, this his whole argument hinges on this fucking underlying idea that you a joke has to be like something true that you believe in and fucking it's an example of your actual beliefs. No, you fucking idiot. But 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 I give you a great example of this. Can you um, can you imagine Patrice O'Neill, who has said the most horrendous thing mm-hmm. about black women and women in general, who worse than anything these fresh and fit guys have ever said? You think that they'd be trying to grill him that same way? Like, you'd be laughing, going, like, "What? What are you weak? What are you all pussy whipped? Why are you guys fucking white knighting for some hood hoes? Who cares? Who fucking cares yeah. who these guys want to fuck? More hood hoes for you, I guess." Because it, honestly, and I already could tell you right now. They put this episode together, and they had this argument with them, so they could all show it to some fucking woke bitches and get and get laid. And get laid. It's just to say then that the whole system continues. It's but I do got to believe that that producer has ever fucked a woman that wasn't white. No, of course, or like some kind of weird Asian with white. I just don't understand this, man. I I really don't. This, fucking but what get I do this. love about I mean, the... you just you just said it. Patrice O'Neill is dead. Black dudes like this didn't exist when Patrice O'Neill was alive. You wouldn't lit it. Yeah, I like the fresh and fit guys though because they're basically doing this move. Is it's every time they're like, so uh, do you not? Do you, uh, you said this joke. It really offended a lot of people. Uh, are you not sorry about the ramifications of your actions? And it's like a fucking Senate committee that he's just like, uh, no. <laughs> and here's uh, the no, problem. I am not. You you guys are all white knighting. These guys are telling these hoes they're stupid. And you're all getting the same amount of pussy. So it's not even like it's affecting the amount of girls you're fucking. Because these guys talk shit about women. And you know what happens? More women want to fuck them. Mm-hmm. It's what always happens. Always. So fucking stop with your We're LA just... comic, white knighting, knit cap, fucking stupid ass cornrow bullshit. But they're all in on it. They're all in on it. It's all work. They're two sides of the same coin. They're like the Democrats and the Republicans. Uh, you know, it's like the way they fuck us, except yeah. this is just a way for two different sides to both fuck women. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> you like, you, but you're being hypocrites. Is you're being hypocrites, ego, and this is a though? cop out. I don't know. I, I just feel like his ego is like sometimes yes. we get in the situation yes, where like I've done this. I said some shit. Listen, we do this shit all the fucking time, yeah. right? You say, why are you talking to him like you're interrogating him like a cop? Look, we've all fucked up. We've all made mistakes. You just tell me what you did. They don't owe you shit, bro. The problem. Is, I'm making it about what you. Listen, I already got you here. All right. What I need is your side of the story. I need you to tell me because otherwise. I already got you dead the rights. I don't even need to be talking to you right now. This is the most replayed. There's no resentment, man. It's just awareness. And I know it it, 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 it might come off that way, but it's just merely just being aware of what's Dude. going on, adapting to the situation, and making the best move more, that's going to not put no, you in right a here, compromising right position. No, there's, there's because there's we've heard so many... Right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, and I see, my fear sorry. would be that your audience of people that really trust you and look up to you would then learn... You're teaching they brought them these how guys to go into down lecture the path them? to be... Bro, you know how pissed I'd be if I went on a podcast and I was like, not only did you bring me in here to lecture me. White knighting bitches. You, you brought me in here 
to have your producers lecturing me? I like, know. Can you imagine? He's defensive and scared of women. And then they could potentially finesse and fuck over other women that were innocent, had nothing to do with it. And then they become the women that you're talking about. Why are you defending these people? It's a show. Uh, well, we're not a, yep. Dude, uh, okay, just, his, just his whole art, like his whole thing he was just saying there was like, you're weak. Are, aren't you afraid that you're teaching dudes to fuck women over? No, I just said I wouldn't fuck hood bitches. Fucking weak. And I don't know if that's the case. I don't really consume a ton yeah. of your content, but yeah. it might be my fear. And I guess yeah. hopefully in the future, if yeah. that's the case, well, I'll so you, know, you have I a fear about your content. That's that's a typical lefty white long hair dude. Yeah. Uh, take. Uh, I've never actually, um, you know, seen your content or cared about any of it or anything. But like, you know, what my fear about it is. Yeah. What? I've never consumed any of your content, but I, what I'm scared of, your content potentially doing. Gary, we haven't been hurt. It's more like we understand the dangers of dating women, and we want guys to know. Look, just look for these things so you don't get finesse. That's the biggest thing because if you don't know going into it, you can be like, yeah, she loves me for me. Uh, probably not. So it's like, okay. She likes me for me. No, understand who you are, what you want. Why wouldn't she love you for you? You're great, bro. Andrew. Hey, bro. <laughs> Stop the cap, hey, bro. bro. Stop the cap. Hey, hey, bro. You know what it sounds Why like? Why wouldn't she love you hey, for you? you know what's wrong like? with you, bro? Andrew, you know what he's... Stop the cap. I, you know what, man? I, I got to... Stop the cap. I'm probably going to move. No cap. I, I got to move somewhere far away. Siberia? No, I'm yeah, I'm starting to get I'm starting not even Siberia, but Serbia. like some kind of fucking Eastern Bloc. Some kind no, hungry. No, I meant like I'm in, looking in for the, real estate on the sun. I meant like in, in the US, but like somewhere Montana. Yeah, in one of those states where you just get like fucking yeah. ninety acres for like a hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, Merch wants to live at the beginning of shooter. Yeah. Just, yeah, I'm like, I don't wanna I just don't want I won't be around anymore. It's we want wild. the man to always yes, have the left I the capris, the, capris, yeah. the fuck, I just don't want to be around anymore. The liquid death. Fuck. And you guys, you guys might not like that hearing that. Childish. But we, but we truly feel. I'm not. I'm not. These aren't new to. beliefs, bro. You're not telling yeah. me some shit none of us have ever heard. We all heard this from fraternity guys in college. I'm okay. saying there's room in your. And I don't wow. have a problem with a lot of the stuff you say. I just think there is room for growth. And you guys were. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. You bring another successful podcast. Onto your fucking successful podcast. This is weird. So this is, I don't, what is this? I've never seen this. I, I have never seen comics. An ambush like this. Ambush dudes and go, you're groomed for growth and that frat boy shit. So what? He's allowed to be a frat boy shit. In the same way Larry the Cable Guy is allowed to pretend he's a fucking hillbilly. And in the fucking same way you're, you're, you are you can pretend to be Captain fucking Save-A-Ho if you want to. But fuck you, you know, telling other people grow. How fucking dare you? That it's, really bugs me, man. Especially when your show's not even as successful. It's like the ball's yeah. on you. How it's, are you telling anybody to grow when you're saying shit like no cap and bussin' and shit? You're fucking 38. Yeah. Refusal to acknowledge it almost kind of proves it to me, confirms it to me that you guys are not willing to grow right now in this fine. Guy who has lifts on his shoes because he's worried about how tall he is. Like, fuck you. Oh, my you, God. You're wearing you lifts. You little insecure, go to therapy every Wednesday and Friday assholes telling these other two fucking black dudes fucking made it on the Internet and telling them you got to respect women because of frat boy stuff. Yeah, because when I look at the fresh and fit guys, I think those are frat bros. Shut up. Dude, the fact that you're going to talk to a more successful... <sighs> podcasting duo well flagrant two is pretty big man they have a hundred but is it fresh and fit like they have 817 let me check out fresh and fit uh, you might be right i, I if don't not know. they're close to each other yeah they're pretty close fresh and fit podcast uh yeah bro, they're, they're right. more they're, 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 oh, they're, they're, they're right? equal they're equal. okay they're so equal. so what are you yeah what are you doing yeah they're equal they are equal they they pretty much Flagrant has a little bit more, but it's but give neither and take. one. So then, but you're still that even if they're not even if What's fresh. What's the and engagement fits are, though? They fresh and fits probably kinda, fresh and fit has more views, and I know why because I'm looking at their thumbnails, which is all hot chicks. Yeah, which is so smart. they they are getting more give and take at more views. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, even if you're just even, mm -hmm. you're still in no position to be this smug and fucking condescending, right? Yeah, that's the point. You like have equal stats. 
Who are you to tell them what to do? That's some ego shit. We're just saying there's room for growth. A very mature answer is, yeah, probably. If you say that to me, I'm sure I got room to grow. Y'all. But why is it important to you whether he has a personal growth journey? Like, that's my point. Why does it matter to you? What do you care? Why do you, are you invested? Are you this man's friend? Are you, in, are you married to this guy? Do you own land together? Like, why do you care? I was literally saying, no, nah, we know how it is. We're in Miami. I bet if you go to Idaho and see only two bitches are getting flown out of Idaho, you'd be like, oh, the world isn't like this. We're just asking you to look and take an assessment of what you say and what you spread and be like, okay, maybe there's room for growth. And y'all ain't even willing to do that for an hour hour and a half why but but again i'm sorry and schultz thought that they looked bad in this these guys look way worse telling other fucking people what to fucking do on their own fucking show look that's pretty much I, it. Uh, I, I, i'm I, looking I, right now at the um, it's, it's, it's really it's fucking upsetting me i'm looking right now at the uh total yeah. numbers here and fresh and fit See, flagrant is not growing as fast as fresh and fit. That's I'm just looking at social blade. So they're both kind of close to each other, but right now flagrant has a twenty six their social blade rank is twenty six thousand eight hundred and nineteen, whereas fresh and fit is seventeen thousand five hundred and seventy three. So they're they're getting a better. They're moving up faster. I guarantee you, Fresh and Fit's probably gonna blast past them. But that's. Oh, oh, it's oh. just you know what, man. What a what a stupid fucking just. I don't know. I was so the, the whole gayness of the like, dude, dude, man. It's like maybe there's room for growth as a person, man. Fuck you. How about that, dude? You know what, Fresh and Fit, you guys win. You know why? Because all you had to do, all any of us have to do in life, you don't have to get violent. You don't have to kick and scream and you know make a mm -hmm. scene. Sometimes you just have to politely say no. Yeah. No. No, because I don't have to. And I, you don't have to get all screamy and yelly about it. No. Being defiant. Just look them in the eye and say no. Fucking all. And all it is, all these women basically in the comments. That's saying, what this was about. Saying yes, I called queen. that earlier. Yes, queen. Called that earlier. Ugh, you LA comics are gross.